I'm on a high. Thank you very much. Having so much fun. Stephen Quick, uh, the Director General here of this exhibit uh, of the Aviation Museum, in fact. Uh, good morning once again. Good morning. I'm learning so many things. There are little details that, like, Star Wars fans feed off of detail, right? And that's what George Lucas provided in the movies. Absolutely. Such detail and the research. We talked about this off the air. Um, going into detail that is completely unnecessary in the movies. Absolutely. A lot of the characters are... Uh, even the characters that you see as background characters, their entire uh, genetic makeup is, is looked at, uh, whether they're air breathers, uh, how they eat, how, how they move through space. It's just amazing. And I say it's unnecessary, but in fact, that does kind of, the, those research, uh, or at least that creation uh, myth of each character does drive what that character will look like, how they function, and so it gives it that realism, right? I'm really interested in this, another detail here. This is Anakin Skywalker's uh, costume. And I didn't know this, another fact I learned, that uh, the darker robe that he's wearing symbolizes his start on the road toward the, the dark, dark side. side. Absolutely. Isn't that amazing? And uh, there's, there's the pod racer from my day. That's the swoop <laughs> bike. I love those things. Saw those in uh, Return of the Jedi through the uh, forest uh, of Endor, right? Right. Uh, all right, we're going to move along here and, uh, and continue taking a look. I've been building my personality, something I really like, the fact that you look at, I just did the personality one, how do you behave? My character is getting built, and this technology in the bracelets is pretty incredible. It is. It's totally incredible. The thing is that you're basically carrying your soul around with you in a, in a small bracelet, which right. is kind of cool. And at the end of this, I'm going to uh, find out what character I am and, and all of the details about that character. Well, that's kind of the nervous, the central nervous system of this whole exhibition is that you're actually understanding how you build an identity, how you mm. build your character, which is what Lucas was after in the films. He really wanted to build his characters so they weren't cardboard cutouts in a movie. Yeah, you have to understand that, that he built a universe in his imagination first, and he knew much more about what was going on than he could tell in the stories, right? And so, uh, and with the details uh, and the things that we get to see here are things that uh, I never thought I would be in the same room with. When you take a look at these costumes next to us here, uh, right in this, this center area, it is truly uh, remarkable, the creativity. People invented these looks and they had to biologically sort of make sense. Absolutely, for each one of the characters, obviously, as I said before, whether it's an air breather or whether it's right. a, a hydrogen breather, the other thing that's really neat and uh, people will learn as they go through the exhibition is how George Lucas came up with a number of the characters. There's some really inside track information in here that nobody knows or nobody has known until now. Um, so uh, how he came up with Yoda is something that people should really look for. All right. I'm well, not going to give it away. Well, yeah, we shouldn't because Yoda is just such an amazing character. And you gave me a detail about Yoda's eyes, some of the things you're going to learn about. Mm. Um, what I do like is the fact that uh, I'm going to kind of put myself into the movie here as I build my personality. So here, I just want to give an example of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is a decide which value is most important to you. Uh, I'm going to pick hedonism because I like the statement. If it's not fun, why do it? So I'm going to, you see how that lights up now? And, and now that it's been chosen, that continues compiling information about my Star Wars character, my very own Star Wars character. That's right, which we'll see later on when it all comes together in the culmination of who, you're a, who you are. Yeah, the other thing I really like to see is like the, the genesis of the ideas from Lucas. Like taking a look at Chewbacca, for instance, um, when he first designed him, Chewbacca was, had less hair, uh, and the evolution of that, where he became this Wookiee, is totally cool. Yeah, and again, that's some of the insider information that that's, that's, you'll learn here, exactly why he came up with the Wookiee character. Mm -hmm. And then even Darth Vader went through transitions uh, as well, until the final, when, I don't know if we can see him uh, to the right there, but the final design is obviously one that has stuck in people's minds from the day it came out in the 70s, right? Well, last night we had uh, we had the opening and uh, Darth Vader was actually on stage with me and I have to tell you, having the dark side that close was <laughs> was a little intimidating. Yeah, no kidding. That, and a little attractive, a little intimidating he, at the same time. Exactly, very powerful man, you know? He, and it, but that's so interesting that he took these tenets from life and put them into a movie, and, and exaggerating them, no doubt, but there are a lot, of, uh, a lot of philosophies that work out in Star Wars, and especially when you deal with the Force, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The, the interesting thing is, as you move through, you build your identity, but your last question is, are you joining the Force, or do, do you join the dark side? Well, Sarah Freemark and I will make that decision along with you, Stephen, uh, later on today as we reveal our identities. Uh, we're here at the uh, Canada Aviation and Space Museum. We're also in Comic-Con at the Ernst & Young Center. We're geeking out today on CTV Morning Live.